He's history's bloodiest tyrant. Find him, and I'll slice a year off all your sentences. Well, I didn't sign up to deal with an immortal butcher. You didn't sign up for anything. One more thing. This one's off the grid. You'll be dealing with me directly, and only me. Blow me up now. Suicide Squad, Hell to Pay is about a man of war hiring Tasso and Zex to find this card, which is a free ticket out of hell. But because of the nature of this card, you got a bunch of villains like uh, uh, Civil Banshee and Zoom and Vera Savage and trying to find this one card at the same time. By looking at the trailers for this movie, I never got a sense of like, yay, I'm a side for this movie. I never really got that feel. And personally, this movie is bland. This movie is jumble. It's a jumble mess, really, because you're handling about what about. Well, let me let me list this off. You don't need Wigan Man Waller and Deadshot and Harley Quinn and Killer Frost and Captain Boomerang and Bronze Tiger, um, and and then you know you have uh, Silver Banshee and uh, Blockbuster and Zoom and the Bengal Savage and then you got Professor Pig and and then you're doing with the daughter of Bengal Savage and and her uh, and her girlfriend and stuff in those lines. And it just feels like it's too much, too many characters, too many things to focus on. Like, they try to focus on things, but it never really fits, no fits well. And, I mean, there's a few cool moments, a little like, oh, that's clever, and all that kind of stuff. But all of those moments don't really gel well with, with the rest of the movie. I mean, I mean, the main character in this movie is Deadshot, it's Suicide Squad. It's going to be Harley or Deadshot being the main character of the movie, it's Deadshot. And, you know, it is that classic Deadshot story of him wanting to see his daughter again. And they try to use that emotional pull, but they don't really give you much of it. And that's what this movie is. There's not much emotional pull. They try to do some stuff with Amanda Waller. Still, there's not, still, no emotional pull. There is no, not enough. Don't even say, like, in the beginning of the movie, that you know, she's... In a hospital, you know, she's sick, she's, you know, she, you know she's ill, and, but we don't know what it is, and, and, and why they, she never explains it to, to Task Force X to understand why she's asking for the, for the card. It is one of those things. Um, the actions blur. Um, I am very surprised, because this movie is where it are, the past DC anime movies have been so far the... Uh, we just made the movie, and it's we were probably aiming for a uh, a hard PG thirteen, but it just got the R rating, like Killing Joke, like um, uh, Just the Dark, and Got My Gas. Like this one is probably the first. Like you deserve that R rating, because there is gory violence, like off the bat. It's not your simple headshot blood splatter. It is like people getting sliced in half, fingers getting sliced off. Um, it's probably the most violent um, DC anime movie so far. There's nudity in this, which I I mean, when you see nudity in a, you know, uh, in a series of films where you're not used to seeing that, you kind of get a little like, wow, the the there's nudity in this. That they really harp on that um, our waiting. Now, nowhere says the word fuck in it. The the swearing is shit and hell. And Dick, I mean, Deadshot says hand job once, as in, like, you know, we can celebrate later kind of thing. Um, so, so th there was some surprising stuff in that, in this, the context of, um, of the themes of the movie. But, yeah, the rest of it is just, it's bland, and the humor doesn't work. Harley, I mean, they got Taylor Swan to voice Harley. And she's pretty much saying as comic relief, or the, the person who just, we need someone, to, we need Harley to say something, so let's just add this line, which never feels like Gary, uh, which is great, because Harris Wong, he does a really awesome Holly Quinn from, you know, the Arkham games and Injustice and so forth and so forth. So, yeah, this movie is a disappointment. Uh, Christmas Slade does a good uh, death shot. Um, yeah, this is kind of 
what I thought is a Boa Mary villains, very undeveloped. Um, just yeah, this movie falls onto too many characters to juggle in a nightmare film. I think we're being summoned. If you're in. Oh, great. Only 87 more suicide missions to go.